Welcome to your Mercury HQ dashboard. In this video, we will review all the options that are available to users set up as admins. Admins have certain functions that are not available to every user. On the left-hand navigation bar, they have the Staff Management option. From here, an admin can create new users as well as edit existing users. To add a new user, click the Create New User link in the top right-hand corner. From here, you can enter the name of the employee, their role, and any shop codes you would like the employee associated with. If you have more than one shop code, the different codes will be listed here. You will then choose the status of the employee, which can be full-time, part-time, or seasonal as well as update their phone number and their email address. You will then manually set their password. Once the employee logs in for the first time, they can go to their profile page and update that password if necessary. You can also add notes to this page that other admins can see. This would be a great place to put any scheduling restrictions for the employee. Be sure to hit Create to save your changes. You can also edit an existing user from this page. To edit an existing user, you can click on the tile of the user and the details will populate on the right hand side. Click the pencil icon to edit. From here you can update employee info, enable or disable their account, and even reset their password. Another feature that is available to admins is the shop settings section of the left hand navigation bar. In this section, you can adjust order settings, which include auto accepting orders, as well as bulk printing. Auto accept of orders, when enabled, will do just that. Auto accept any incoming orders on your behalf. No orders will appear in the accept order field of the orders that need attention. If this is enabled, be sure to review your current orders often and thoroughly. Bulk print orders, when enabled, will keep track of all your accepted but unprinted orders. When both auto accept orders and bulk print orders are enabled, your home dashboard will have a fifth tile in the orders that need action section labeled unprinted orders. Clicking on this tile will allow you to print all the unprinted orders at once. From the shop settings section, you can also adjust the delivery service settings. If you are utilizing the FTD delivery services, you will want to make sure delivery service is enabled. This will allow you to schedule a driver to pick up and deliver the arrangement on your behalf. Auto send to delivery service, when enabled, will automatically schedule a pickup time with the FTD delivery service on all eligible orders that your shop receives. While these tools are here to help your shop, we do encourage you to check your current orders frequently if any of these are enabled to avoid any surprises. In the shop settings, you can also adjust the information you are displaying to other florists within the network. You can choose to display things such as your name, your phone number, and your email address. If you need to update your enclosure card, the shop settings is the section you can do that in. After choosing the placement of your logo, you will get the option to upload a file straight from your computer. In the Enclosure Card settings, you can also include a personalized message from your shop, as well as your florist website for extra advertising. The Enclosure Card can also include your shop's contact info. After deciding what you would like to display on the Enclosure Card, you can preview it on the right-hand side to make sure everything is to your liking. Be sure after making any changes to your shop settings, you scroll to the bottom of the page and hit Save Settings for the changes to take effect. Remember to always navigate back to your home dashboard to continue managing your orders.